Hey everyone, Road Dog Just Politics here, welcome back. Um, as I'm sure you're all aware and will have heard, Amber Rudd, the previous Home Secretary, has officially resigned. This happened on Sunday evening and as we are now becoming aware, the uh, replacement to obviously take her place will be the uh, Minister for Communities, Sajid Javid. What is the main reason for her resignation, you ask? Is it because of the huge amount of upset and distress caused to the many, many people affected by this Windrush scandal? People who came here in the 40s, 50s and 60s who are have lived and worked here and paid their taxes here and are now finding out that they're losing their jobs, um, losing access to health care, getting sent to detention centres, um, just a, a huge amount of... Uh, unnecessary stress that is caused to them completely needlessly and pretty unethically no not really it's because um, she uh, inadvertently misled the Home Office Select Committee on Wednesday um, so there's a letter that she wrote um, dated the tw April 29th which was yesterday to the Prime Minister which um, is her resignation letter and this is something that Laura Kinsberg um, tweeted. Dear Prime Minister, it is with great regret that I am resigning as Home Secretary. I feel it is necessary to do so because I, again, inadvertently misled the Home Affairs Select Committee over targets for removal of illegal immigrants during their questions on Windrush. So on Wednesday, she faced, obviously, the Home Affairs Select Committee um, and they were asking her questions about her role as the um as the home secretary and her dealings with um getting getting to grips with targets and removals etc and she admitted that um she wasn't aware of any targets or um she didn't know that any targets existed or you know there weren't any in the first place whereas um she then faced um parliament uh, i think it was on friday thursday or friday saying that um, there were actually targets, but they're more sort of local targets. Um, and also as a result of a leaked Guardian memo um, that was um, sent to the Home Office um, that she became aware of, that um, there, there were actually, um, you know, set targets for, um, you know, an increased amount of rem removals of immigrants. So either Amber Rudd is deliberately lying to Parliament or she is very clearly incompetent and doesn't read documents or statistics of which it is actually her job to do so. There is also evidence of a letter that she wrote to the Prime Minister in January um, 2017 that, um, that uh, I'm just reading off the standard here. Um, critics also pointed to a letter that she wrote to the Prime Minister in January 2017, originally leaked to The Guardian earlier this month, in which she, des she described her aim of increasing in forced returns as ambitious but deliverable. So, on some scale, she is aware that there are targets and that she does have to, um, you know, aim for something at the very least. So I, I again I, I don't know whether she is um you know outright lying to parliament um which is you know um a fireable offence in itself or that she is just grossly incompetent and just you know doesn't talk to her staff or read any correspondence at all um so yeah I I don't know whether this is um good news or bad news you can take it as good news if you want if you want to sort of um sort of a, a re removal if you want of the one of the weakest links um in the cabinet but you know the replacement being Sajid Javid I, I I honestly when I heard this I just I I couldn't think of who it would be that would be good enough to replace her seeing as the whole bunch of them seem to be quite rotten to the core at this point I mean this government is just so deeply incompetent and, you know, you could argue that there's um, a line for um, institutionalised racism at this point, just because of the way that they've been dealing with this whole debacle. And, you know, um, a lot of people um, in the press have been um, also saying that, you know, now Amber Rudd is gone, acting as um, Theresa May's hum human shield, 
it's now Theresa May that is in the firing line, pretty much, seeing as she was the Home Secretary between 2010 and 2016, and it was her, um, her sort of um, raison d'etre to introduce this hostile environment to get rid of, I know she says illegal immigrants, but it, she, you know, introduced this whole um, policy of, you know, creating a difficult and, and toxic environment in order to um, remove legal immigrants, the Windrush generation, from the country to places that they'd like never been to or didn't even know of and people without reason just getting sent to detention centres etc and you know without any chance of them even being deported anyway. I, I, I just I just can't, I, I don't know where to go with this. It, it's because this government is just absolutely disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. I mean Aside from the Windrush scandal, there are just a, a myriad of other other things that the government has really messed up on. I mean, Boris Johnson is one and like just sits on his own as just being, you know, his own little chaos circle. And you know, there there are various like how many people have resigned since the beginning? Um, you've got Pretty Patel, you've got Damien Green, Michael Fallon, and now Amber Rudd. That's four. That's four cabinet ministers who have resigned. What the hell? If it if this was any other time, any other government, they'd be out of the door. They'd be out of the door. But because they are so desperate, and they would much rather put their own party and their own ideologies before the actual interests of the country. And and they they just they just do not want because they know what the alternative is. It's Jeremy Corbyn, and everyone knows it. And they they just the idea to them that you know if they stood aside, then they'd almost certainly let in a Labour government. And that is something that they just cannot bear. And it's just like you you cannot sink to a lower low, and it's absolutely appalling. So here's a tweet from Michael Gove. Tweeting, I'm so sad about Amber's departure from government. She was a huge asset, brave, principled, thoughtful, humane, considerate, and always thinking of the impact of policy on the vulnerable. I hope Amber will be back soon. We need her. Really, Michael Gove? Really? That's what you have to say about Amber Rudd's departure? If she in any way thought about the impact of po policy on the vulnerable, then what's universal credit all about? What's austerity all about? You could have done something about those people suffering, people who are homeless, people who can't pay their rent, people who can't put food on the table, those people who are vulnerable. You could have done something about that, but no, you mostly agreed with this disgusting ideology. So I think inhumane is the best word to describe this. From what I've been hearing, I think Amber Rudd was quite a moderate Tory as well as being a Remainer so when a part of me sort of does have a degree of empathy towards her but her decision to resign was actually I, I think a, a good idea and the right thing to do so in that respect I'm glad she's resigned but in another respect I don't think Sajid Javid I mean I can't say until he's actually done you know done some work in the Home Office but I mean, I just think they're just a bunch of really incompetent people. I mean, nothing good has come out of this government since they've come into office, so... We'll just have to wait and see what happens and see if um, Theresa May receives any more flack, which I'm sure she will, um, whether it, you know, uh, encourages her to step down, which I highly doubt. Um, I think they'll they'll continue to, you know, hobble on um, until, you know, the next general election is called, um, because they are an extremely desperate party, um, holding on by a thread. Um, so I think that's, that's what's going to happen, um, at least for the next few months anyway. Um, so yeah, that's about all I have to say. Um, thanks for watching, um, and don't forget to comment and subscribe to my videos. I will be uploading very soon. Have a great day, folks. Bye.